My name is Emily, and today I'll be reading to you a book called Young, Proud, and Sungji, a children's book on fighting anti-Asian racism during COVID-19. Written by Joyce Wiley and Emily Ku, illustrations by Maggie Chen. Note to parents, caregivers, and all those serving children, the purpose of this book is to provide a resource to help generate meaningful discussions between adults and children about anti-Asian racism. An incident involving anti-Asian racism is directly introduced in the story of this book. My family owns a Korean restaurant. My mom takes orders while my dad cooks and my grandma watches over my baby brother. Me, I greet our guests. I like that. Everyone calls me Sungji. But our normal days like these are changing because of COVID-19. At school, my teacher said that we were no longer going to be coming to school because the virus was spreading. Instead, we would have to stay home. We had a lot of questions. Questions like, what is COVID-19? Where did it come from? How long is school going to be closed for? A classmate turned and said, this is your fault. I felt shame. I knew something was wrong, but not sure why. When I arrived back at the restaurant, I shared what had happened with my family. Is something wrong with me? I asked. My dad said, oh, sweetheart, COVID-19 is spreading all over the world. People are very scared. Some people are even angry because they believe that Asians have caused the virus and are spreading it. Moms added, your friends may blame you for spreading the virus because of the way you look. This is called racism. Their actions and words really hurt, but the truth is anyone can get and spread the virus. My grandmother chimed in, Sungja, COVID-19 is not your fault. There is nothing wrong with you. You can be proud of being Korean, our culture, and our heritage. Let's work on treating others with fairness and respect. After hearing this, I felt better inside because I stopped thinking there was something wrong about how I looked, about being me, and about being Asian American. The next day at the park, I saw a small group of kids calling Jinny, my friend from China, names for spreading the virus. From a distance, I said, it's not okay to blame Jinny for COVID-19 when anyone can get it. To say that Asians spread the virus is unfair, unkind, and disrespectful. The kids apologized and left. I said to Jinny, What's happening isn't your fault. What they did was very hurtful. Nothing's wrong with you, Jingyi. You can be proud of being Chinese. Let's treat all people with fairness and respect and be there for each other like those at the protest. Jingyi agreed as we both walked home. At the restaurant, there were fewer and fewer customers. But at home, I learned how to use a computer and to see my teachers and friends. I also helped my grandma cook and played with my baby brother. Last night, I went into my brother's room where he was fast asleep. I bent over his crib and whispered in his ears, you're beautiful and perfect. I love you and let's be proud of who we are. Good night. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the story.